<clears throat> Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Genius Entrepreneur Podcast. I'm Shelby Joe Long, your host. I have the opportunity to tell the stories of those genius entrepreneurs that have created a business out of your genius to help inspire you to think about your genius in a different way. Today is no exception. I have the opportunity to talk with the CEO of Top Shelf Virtual Services, Eliana Elliott. I told you I was going to mess up your name. (laughs) I knew it, but I I think I got it after fumbling a little bit. So it is great to have you here. Can you tell us a little bit about Top Shelf Virtual Services? Sure. So we are a company that specializes in podcast strategy. Um, We like to use monetize and grow their podcast by providing them with the strategies they need to do that. That's great. You focus. So what, what type, who do you usually work with? Who so mostly podcast with their business. So mostly female entrepreneurs, um, a lot of coaches in the mindset space, um, just women entrepreneurs for the most part, mom entrepreneurs, people like yeah. that. Yeah. And you find, t- talk to me about podcasting and what, the, I mean, I'm running a podcast myself, but <laughs> what can, what can having a podcast do for your business? Um, so having a podcast is a great way to um, not only get your message out there, but also to teach. Um, you can use it to um, sell your products. If you're a coach, sell your coaching programs. Um you know, you can use it to nurture your audience. If you have, you know, you're growing an email list, you're growing, you have a blog. Um, It's a perfect way to, if you have all of those things to take one piece of content and repurpose it multiple ways. So you're not, if you're a content creator, you're not out there trying to create 20 pieces of content. You do it, you do a podcast and you can split that podcast up in a multi multitude of ways. Um, Like I said, if you are a coach or you have services that you sell, a consultant, anything like that, you can use your podcast to promote the things that you have, the things that you're selling. Um, You can use it as a way to have your clients have more access to you if you're if if you're teaching. Um, I started with true crime podcasts. That's what I was interested in to begin with. So um, if you you know, are a great storyteller or, you know, you can use podcasts to tell stories to, you know, I mean, there's, there's so many things you can use podcasting for out there. Absolutely. I totally agree. And I totally understand. I love the podcast space. I like having conversations. I think it's a way that we can get more information, just throw it on. And, and it's much more than an advertisement. It's much more than marketing. It's something that you can use in the whole scope of your business. I totally agree. And it is a space that is not new, but it is newer in the, in the marketing scheme of businesses. So I think that's great. Yeah. Yeah. And to feature female entrepreneurs. And I think that space is really great. So tell me, let's back it up. Let's back it up a few years. Let's get to your your past experience, what brought you into this whole idea of being the podcast resource and repurposing content? I'm sure there's some I, some things that you were involved in in the past that brought you to this point. Can you tell so, us about that? Sure, absolutely. So funnily enough, funny enough, I was a paralegal for over 20 years. Mm-hmm. Um, back in 2019, right before COVID, I was working for a firm. I got sick, I was hospitalized and they fired me. So, um, I ended up having to, you know, like really quick find something. I started working, uh, for a construction company and, um, because we were essential workers during COVID, I was still working full time. I wasn't working from home. And so I dived into podcasting. Um, I first started, like I said, with listening to true crime podcasts, uh, listening to storytelling podcasts. And then I realized I'm like, I kind of want to do something else. So I dove into a podcast about virtual assisting and did that for a little bit, except the people that were looking for my services wanted a full-time virtual assistant 
for the price of like a secretary, but they wanted the virtual assisting to be like a paralegal um, for the price of a secretary. So that didn't work out. Plus they wanted full-time hours, which me working still full-time wasn't really going to work out. Right. So then I jumped into podcast management. Another thing I found through podcasting, I dove in. Uh, the girl I was listening to, her name was Lauren Wrighton. She's a podcast manager and she trains podcast managers. And so I, you know, delved into that, did that for about a year. Um, and then I started talking to clients more about their strategy and their goal setting and their mindset and realized that I didn't really like the back end of doing things. Um, the editing and all that, it was fine, but I'm not, it's just not, my brain isn't wired that way. I like having conversations. I like talking. And so I met with a client. Um, I was helping her do her strategy. And one of the simple things that we did for her was for three years, she had been on only one platform because she didn't know how to put her RSS feed in all the different places. And I showed her how to do that. And she called me the next day or she messaged me the next day. And she's like, you talked to me for 10 minutes. You gave me this one thing and now I'm everywhere. So she's like, you need to pivot into consulting, strategy consulting, because that's what you're really good at. And I was like, well, I don't really want to be a coach. I don't really want to do that. Um, you know, coaching is like for people who are actually, um, you know, have the schooling and the learning behind them. Like, I'm just doing this because I like it and I like helping people. Um but it just stuck. Uh, and so I'm really, I really enjoy talking to people. I love having conversations. Um, and I love helping people just kind of realize the potential they have just by sharing who they are and whatever their message is, regardless of what the message is, just being able to share it. And um, I think with podcasting and content creation, especially, it's one of those things where if you don't have those strategies in place, um, you can get burnt out really easily because it takes a lot of work. Um, it's Absolutely. not an easy thing. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. And if you don't have, you know, like your goals and what does success mean? Why are you doing it? All of those things. Um, you can burn out really quickly and not continue doing probably what you were meant to do. So Absolutely. that's me in a nutshell, I guess. <laughs> I love how I, I love how your background, you know, you did the paralegal work for so long and that probably, you know, you're kind of in the background, maybe you'd listen to some stories, but then how like one of your favorite podcasts was stories. And that's, that's really what podcasting is all about is telling yeah. story. And, yeah. and yes, there's some function and education in that too, but even, even I'm an educator too, even the foundation of education is storytelling and, you know, it, that's how you can connect with a larger audience. So I think right. it's, it's, it's something that's kind of inherent in our way of knowing, but something that hasn't really been brought to the forefront. I think it's podcasting and you, you're a hundred percent right. Is that <laughs> the content creation is a challenge, especially when you're a solo entrepreneur or you have a very mm -hmm. small team, it's a challenge. And it's also easy to you've got to have some strategy behind it because you, because there's, you can't just throw a bunch of stuff on the wall and expect it to stick. That doesn't mean that you can't cover a wide variety of things, but there's got to be right. kind of a strategy around it and a main message, which is, which is what I love talking about, which is the brand, right? Yeah. It's, it's who you are. It's who you serve and how everything that you do fits underneath this grand umbrella. So, right. That's uh, I love all those things that you're talking about and you're right though with podcasting, it does, it, it's an opportunity to fit into all those buckets. Yeah. So, and so I think too, business consultant too, right? So yeah. Like, yeah. Like and I think, coach. I think too, like with a lot of people, like you were saying it, you can't just throw things at the wall. I think mm -hmm. a lot of people start a podcast thinking that they can do just that. And then quickly they realize I can't. You know, right. I, I, I need to think, I need to have a plan ahead of time of not just what am I going to talk about, but like, how long am I going to make these episodes? What am I going to do when I reach the point where I've finished talking about all the things that I think I can talk about? Um, you know, how am I going to find people to listen? How am I going yeah. to like, Hey, I'm planning on monetizing it. How am I going to 
do that? Like how with a small budget? And not only are we entrepreneurs, but a lot of us are moms. We're, you know, wives. We we do all the things. And mm-hmm. so this has to fit in with all of those things. And without strategies in place for that, you can't make that happen. Something's got to right. give without having that plan in place. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, what do you, what do you see? What, I mean, you've talked about the production, maybe you're not on the production side of it, or that's not your sweet spot or your genius zone, but uh, what draws you to that? And what, how are you building around that space around that, that whole, that whole idea? The production part of it. Cause you are, are you, do you do the production? For my own, yeah. For your own, yeah. Um, I can. I mean, I haven't had anybody ask me to do that in probably over a year. Yeah. Um, but I can. I mean, I know how to do it. I can do it. Um, my, I'd say my zone of genius would probably be um, just the connection. Just making people realize that they do have something to say. They should share it. And just giving them like, you know, like a cheerleader in the background, which is funny because for me, I just recently started my podcast because I was, I I was like, okay, I don't have anything to say. Um, No one's going to want to listen to me. But I tell my clients all the time, like, you have to be authentic. You have to be vulnerable. You have to speak. And I wasn't taking my own advice. So now we've jumped in and we've actually taken our own advice and we've actually done it. And... I'm supposed to be releasing, I've been recording and I'm should be releasing all my stuff middle of 2024 once I get it all, you know, but it's just, it's funny, like how I'm giving all this advice and I'm telling people what to do and I'm not doing it. And I got called out. <laughs> Somebody was like, you're giving me you all this advice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I had two people tell me, they're like, you're giving me all this advice but you're not doing it. Like I did a private podcast um, on burnout specifically. And I was just like, okay, that's enough. I don't need to do another podcast. I'm good. I, I have that one. I'm good. And people are like, no, you need to, you know, you need to share what you have out there. And I'm like, okay, fine. I, you know, like when you tell your kids you should do this, but you're not doing it. I was doing the same thing. Yeah. So I think that's where my zone of genius is, is just the conversation, the, the positive mindset the it's okay if you need to take a break it's okay if things aren't perfect you know it's podcasting it doesn't have to be perfect the right. perfect ones have a huge team behind them and you know you are just being yourself and that's all your listeners want is for you to be yourself absolutely absolutely so important to be authentic yeah well, tell us about your podcast. Where can we find it? What's it called? Oh, oh, it's not out yet. You're- it's not out yet. I think I have the name though. I don't think I'm going to veer from this name. So I'm calling it Podcast Strategy with Heart with me. Um, that's just something that's resonated with, with me lately. Like I even did the hashtag for it and I was like, yes, nobody has this hashtag. Woo-hoo. So I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the name of it. And basically I'm just going to, talk about tips, you know, talk about mindset, um, maybe have some guests later on, keep them really short, you know, seeing what people gravitate towards just the things that I've seen with my clients, how I can help. Um, and that's, that's it in a nutshell. That's my plan. That's my goal. That's a good goal. Well, what is, so that's 2024. What else do we have as far as business is concerned in 2024 that we should watch out for? Um, so I've, this is, I I tried to avoid this more than I tried to avoid podcasting, getting on TikTok and like sharing tips on TikTok and stuff. So I'm on all the socials. I'm on all the platforms. I've got, um, a course that I'm trying to create on, uh, goal setting and how important that is. Um, I created one. I haven't sold it yet, but I created one on a podcast strategy with a positive mindset. I have the private podcast. Um, I have um, actually my, my, uh, my lead magnet is an eight week guide to launch your podcast. Um, So I've got, I've got those things. I've got a lot of things in place, just nothing really, you know, I'm going to try to do some, I'm trying to open up for some one-on-one 
uh, strategy calls, some Voxer calls, um, you know, just putting some plans in the works, seeing what uh, what we can come up with here in the in the next couple of years to hopefully stop working my full time job and make this my my full time job. So make your side hustle your non side hustle. Yeah. Right. Make my side hustle my full hustle. Yeah, you'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. There. Just take that goal setting course that you're uh, talking about. That should be good. right. Yeah. Yeah. Pay attention to what I'm saying in the goal setting course and do it for myself. Absolutely. Practice what you preach. Absolutely. 100. I'm learning that. Yes. Well, that's awesome. I have been, it's been great to get to know you today and to yeah. know who you are and definitely know if we need podcasting help and assistance to reach out to you. I'll be sure to include your uh, your contact information in the, okay. in the show notes. So people. Can yeah, check. absolutely. Yeah. Speaking of side hustle, uh, my last, when I wrap up interviews, I always ask, what's your advice to people that are thinking about, cause my business is all about creating businesses out of your genius and mm -hmm. stay in your genius zone. What <laughs> advice do you have to people that are thinking about starting this side hustle and maybe getting out of their corporate gig? Do you have just do it? Just like if you, yeah, if you have a pull, if, if something's telling you that you should create something or do something, listen to that because there's a reason why you're being pulled in that direction. There's a, there's a reason why you're being, you're, you're feeling like you have to do something more than what you're doing. And whether that's for monetary purposes, or you feel like you have a bigger purpose, whatever the reason is, listen to that because Nine times out of 10, listening to that intuition doesn't steer you wrong. It might take a little longer than you expected, but if you go in the direction of, in that direction, it's not going to steer you wrong. It's going to take you right where you need to be. I think that's a great piece of advice for everybody to remember. Just do it. I think I've that's heard right. that somewhere before. Nike. They may have it trademarked, but. Nike. Yeah, they do. I'm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure Nike has a trademark, but that's okay. That's, that's okay. okay. We can all use it. That's yeah. Really awesome. Yeah. Well, anything else you'd like to share with our audience before we sign off today? No, this was great. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I really appreciated talking to you and it was fun. Thank you so yeah. much. Uh, likewise. That was a lot of fun. I enjoy helping people tell their story to practice what I preach and encourage other people to do the same. So awesome. You're doing a great job. Well, thanks. And <laughs> to the audience members out there, I hope I inspired you to think about your genius in a little bit of a different way. Doesn't have to be trapped in an industry. There is a way to create a side hustle and a significant monetary stream out of your genius. And don't be afraid to reach out because you can create a business out of it. So we'll see you next time on the Genius Entrepreneur Podcast.